In part 12, we join Michael and Steve in the tasting room of Bouchain Vineyards. They are preparing to taste several vintages of both Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. The others are just about to join them. I have wines like this, it helps, you know. Nice. Make, reminds me of why I started this in the first place, with good wine, and tasting it with people. And, uh, okay, well. Now this one I haven't tasted before. You know, the old one was an average, a little above average. But I did taste about two months ago, before I even tasted the Four Champs, the Premier mm -hmm. Vineyard, mm -hmm. from him, and it was drinking delicious. So, um, let's, let's help look. Yeah, it's really Ooh, the nose is there. Thank you. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> You girls don't mind, I hope, that the camera's on. You're going to try. I'm doing oh, it. Oh. <laughs> You're going to be at my next sales meeting, please. <laughs> <laughs> the August sales meeting. We're moving into mm. the 22nd oh. century. Mm -hmm. I brought a little nourishment just in case anybody's oh, feeling they're going to pass it. Thank you. <laughs> it's only a little amount of nourishment. You are a guardian something. angel. <laughs> you going to taste for this cake? You guys go ahead. I'm going to get some stuff to get for you guys to take care of. I'll be right back. Actually, you know, yeah, I am. From, uh, I was telling Michael before, William Flev, he doesn't make the wine anymore. He sold the Bouchard now. And uh, since their, their winemaker is a lot uh, light or light handed on the oak and wants to, his philosophy is to express the terroir even more than the previous when William did it. Yeah. Mm. It's supposed to get hot again this week. Yeah. You live up this way, don't you? Don't you live? I live in Berkeley area, oh, yeah. so it's usually cooler. I'm right across from. Here. We're the fortunate ones. Most jobs are not for enjoying. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's the only one I know that opens his wine with his. Uh, <laughs> I know, I love it. And I like the little pop down technique Oops. first, loosen it up and then <laughs> I'll remember that one. Yeah. Mm. What was the second point? Oh four, the state canal for state. Now this one is pretty interesting yes. after you compare these two. Mm -hmm. uh, you can discard the 04. So this is 05, so it still has a fruitiness mm -hmm. of a brand new wine, but it has, it was made in, it was not made with any oak. Oh, okay. Oh. Remember I mentioned yes, that? Yes, I, I taste remember. That beer, right, it right. like they had oak in them. Well, it didn't taste like oak, but I said, you taste them with this one, you'll see how those really do have. Okay, yeah. The one we taste that the same yeah. steel. Oh, right. So if you want to discard the uh, Carneros, taste this one, you'll see this one actually is structured like the one like the one that you got, that you brought. It doesn't have the same flavor uh, like the one you had, because the one you had has, those, has a classic uh, production uh, or a process of those uh, toasty smells that are in the, mm -hmm. but For an 01 vintage, that one that you brought is delicious. And an 01 California wine would be Showing its age. Age at this point, yeah. yeah. And even an old one regular Chablis would be showing its age. It's Probably, yeah. Most likely. Yeah. Yeah. Being a Grand Cru. All right. But the way this one is made, um, the way that, that, that <coughs> curtain is made is made from less ripe fruit. So it has uh, a less um, of the. Uh, Yellow, or no, yellow pigment, so mm -hmm. which is a whole group of chemicals oak. Um, so basically that sometimes um, no, are yellow uh, and they're, car yeah. they're carotene based, but sometimes you can't really see them, but you can analyze for them. The and those like are the uh, um, chemicals the that, that develop as grapes get riper and, mm -hmm. and get more golden colored. And those are things that change in the bottle to give you those uh, all, uh, kind of hazelnut and uh, squash, pumpkin shells, and 
okay. for dinners mm -hmm. or for like some of these really big yeah, sort of bars yeah. that they want to so bring on So we go to a once great a month we feature something different from the shade coming in too. Um, we don't want a dark golden like wine. Yeah. You want it. We want it water white, as we call it, light golden. Mm -hmm. And I gave them color. seven right. pieces right. of the And so, Pinot how do we make it pick it reasonably uh -huh. ripe so, so it has yes. some of that California flavor? I don't want it quite as austere as this one. Yeah. Yeah. This is delicious. It's, it's just kind of not fun the style. It's a different style. Right. We'd be leaving some of the we'd be leaving some of the flavor on the wine if we pick it at that level of development. That's great. But I got a shower for some of the words here, and then I'll soak. That's your was that Brooke, your daughter? Yeah, she, just, she smacked her car up. Ooh. I'm getting it fixed, and I told her that I'm not giving it back to her unless she gets it up. And she tells me that she says, you know, Dad, she's 19. She says, and she's a, she's a throwback. She's a hippie. <laughs> I'm glad to see this young girl coming in. She's following our own tradition. I don't think that you have to have a regular job to enjoy life. <laughs> and I said, you're absolutely right, Brooke. I believe that also. Yeah. However, those people walk. <laughs> they don't drive cars. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you enjoy walking. <laughs> <laughs>